Hi guys, VTech here, Blueberry Hill, 2730th. Uh, so here we are. Uh, well, here I am. Um, doing solo the last couple three days. Uh, basically, all I'm doing is uh, finishing up the driveway, rebar. Uh, made it a little longer, probably about 20 feet long. It's about 17 feet wide. So I'm just putting the rebar down. Nothing too hard. I don't need any plastic on this section because it's outdoors. Uh, driveways, they don't do that. Anyway, so uh, here I am just manhandling all the rebar. A pretty easy task. Uh, the next thing you'll see is me doing the template stuff for the the posts for this building. I m first mark all the locations, uh, making sure I measure properly, measure twice, cut once, kind of thing. Um, and then I uh, I made the templates with uh, drilled bolt holes uh, for the bolts, and they get screwed down to the locations I mark. Pretty straightforward. The only fun part I had to do uh, do extra work on was the left side of the shop which is sitting on top of the, uh, the rocky ledge. Um, I bought a uh, crazy hammer drill, which is a, doubles as a chisel as well. So I'll be using that to make holes in rock and uh, try to make big enough holes so the bolts can actually be in cement and uh, everything should be good. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll have uh, more verbiage throughout the video if you care. But anyway, at the end of this, you'll see uh, all the forms pretty much done. Um, and then I'm actually meeting the concrete guy tomorrow, which is Saturday on the 31st. So anyway, I'll keep you up to date. Thanks for watching. Later. Bye. So here uh, you'll see me doing the uh, markings on the, on the form. Uh, basically, I just follow the, the blueprints and mark center line uh, for where the, the template center line is supposed to be. All of the templates have a center line where all the bolt locations are marked off from. Um, so all I have to do is basically see how far away from the corner and the wall everything's supposed to be. Put the center line there and then come back and just screw the template down. Pretty straightforward. Um, anyway, um, since I was not my first rodeo on this one, uh, it turned out to be fairly straightforward. Took a couple, three hours. Uh, and here's me actually putting putting the first one in. Uh, I'll probably come back and uh, make this hole a little deeper so I can get the bolts a little further down. Um, meaning I'll probably have to take the generator out and get the hammer drill out, which you will see uh, in the next few video segments here, where I uh, get the hammer drill and start busting some rock. Anyway, thanks for watching. Later. So this is uh, 30th, August 30th. Uh, I had to use the generator and the hammer drill, so that's just uh, what I'm showing you here. The generator is 500 pounds, so I used the, the bobcat to move it over. Um, anyway, there's the hammer drill. It's uh, a virgin at this point. Um, and then I use it to, to make holes in the rock. This hole was actually very easy. Uh, the few falling holes are pretty much in rock, so you'll see that happening. Went good though.
So this this is the area where uh, it's just solid rock uh, right underneath the uh, this corner of the shop. So it took me a little while to do this. So I'm not going to bore you and show you every single chisel action I did, but it took a while because it's solid rock. I went down, I guess about a foot, so um, it worked pretty good. The chisel is not super quick, but it does do the job. Uh, as long as you know that you can uh, chip the rock out and you kind of leverage your way through it, it works out pretty good. Last but not least, this is the, uh, the last corner I have to do. Uh, the roll-up doors are five feet from the outside wall, uh, both of them on each end of the shop. So this this one here happened to be on a pretty big, large rock. I have no idea how big it was, but Bobcat couldn't even find the edge of it. So just as we go, uh, worked pretty good. Just took a little while. Um, actually, it wasn't really maybe 10, 15 minutes a hole. Um, everything worked pretty good. Just make, make enough. Uh, Make enough of a hole so you can get the, the bolts down and uh, leave an inch or two at the bottom of it. Anyway, uh, went pretty good. Uh, next set of videos you'll see will probably hopefully be the, the copy pour. Maybe some cleanup stuff on the property, etc. But uh, we're pretty much done with the form. We just got to wait for the concrete. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later.